All right, hello everyone. Happy New Year, everyone. So, we have entered a new year and a new decade, 2020 and the 2020s. It may, it may seem like a new area, I mean era, but that while we should appreciate the past year or so, we shouldn't let this define how we live our lives and, and enjoy our lives now. And just live in the moment, enjoy your life, basically. So each day and each year is different from the last. So, however, all right, so let's begin with what I'd like to go over in this video. I'd like to talk about what I'm proud of and what I hope to accomplish f for this year and beyond. I really improved socially, educationally, and well-beingly, if that's even a word, but that doesn't really matter. However, I still have a lot that I want to achieve and want to talk about. And I'm going to start where the best place to start is. You know, growing up with Asperger's and a form of autism, it's been really hard. It's been really difficult, you know, academically. Like, you know, having started at college in 2012, I'm like, I take three courses a semester because it's really hard to, like, take more than that. And my hand, I would be stressed with that. So, you know... I have my hands full with that many. It would be overwhelming. And my brain can absorb, can only absorb so much that I, it can, I will continue to pursue until I get my bachelor's, hopefully by 2021. I'm still trying to find the right career and I'll contact those for possible, I'll, con, I'll get help on that part. I'm not gonna, go into detail there, but I'm gonna help with that one. So I will continue to push educationally also, no matter what happens. And socially, autism has made it difficult to be so. I mean, to maintain long conversations and or even start conversations is, is a challenge. Although it's only, however, my condition has only motivated me to be that much more active. I'm like, I am work on being social. I mean, I have a diverse group of friends from elsewhere, and they help me be comfortable about myself. Like, it's only driving me to push past my shyness. So, and it's a, my... I mean, so having autism has helped me with my drive to be more persistent and be patient with everything. So I've, I'm also going to talk to, about like my enjoyment of the sport of volleyball. So I've been come a long way in practicing that. It's a great stress escape from everything, you know. And, I've been playing consistently for about three and a half, four years now. I mean, I've gone to drop-in games and pick-up games across Denver area and elsewhere, sometimes in Philadelphia, and hit a couple balls in San Diego, where I'll be traveling very soon. I, I, I've participated in various leagues, too, and I hope, and in clinics to improve my skills. I've documented my skills and and. YouTube clips such as those you have seen and I will continue to do that to to for you so I can show my improvement and that I mean I seek to become a better and smarter player and and I've made many great friends playing the sport and they're awesome people so that's a that's it's just a great atmosphere the, the whole sport thing I mean sorry I, I stutter because sometimes it's difficult to form words so I'm doing my very best so all right I'm also writing a book of poems that I plan to publish someday I mean I can't tell you mu much about what I'm doing but I'm excited for what I'm doing so anyway I have a lot to be proud of and there's more that I'm going to achieve this year and beyond. I'm like, I hope all of us can go on to achieving great things. This year and beyond. Um, 
best of luck to us all. I mean, I will continue to upload more videos to come. So, so until then, um, let, let us all appreciate what we have. And see you later, folks.